Today, the Brickishaw Ferguson made his retirement from the Jets after 10 years officially official as the club had a send-off ceremony for the left tackle. Nick Mangold and other current and former teammates were on hand as Ferguson reflected on a life-changing moment when he was nine years old that inspired him to prove his toughness. How is it that the same boy who had open heart surgery and was never supposed to even play this game, play at the highest level for 10 years, every snap, never suffer an injury? I didn't do that. God did. And, um, and I feel very confident that if he's brought me this far, I can only imagine what the future will hold. Thank you. He went from Freeport High School on the island to Virginia, then back to New York. Ferguson stressed he was not walking away from the game due to fears of CTE. And before he left the building one last time, he sat down with R. Janae Coakley. All right, Brick, I guess walking in today, knowing that, you know, you're retiring, what's it been like for you today? You know, it's been a real surreal experience, um, you know, knowing that I won't be playing on this field or practicing. Uh, it's kind of hard to come to grips with, but I think it's also exciting to know that um, I've been able to be a part of this organization for, for so long, uh, be a guy that they depended on, and uh, now I get a chance to, to do something else. When did you know? that you wanted to retire? I think there was a sense that maybe I was no longer that guy that uh, was going to be there. I think I just felt as though perhaps, you know, something's different about this season. And so um, maybe this would be a good time to stop. A lot of people are report saying, no, the Jets wanted you to take a pay cut and it was the money, it was the health. Does any of that play into it at all? I mean, I don't want to leave this league, you know, hurt or leave this league, you know, cut. I want to leave this league with the same uh, excitement I had when I came in. Nick and Brick, you guys are always linked together. Yeah. What was that like telling Nick Mangold? Uh, it's hard to think that, man, we're not going to be doing this anymore or, you know, we're going to, this is going to look different for us. I also feel like that's why it's important for the friendship to be there because maybe we don't have this to share, but it doesn't mean that our relationship has to go away. Now you heard Janae ask about the reported pay cut. That was supposed to free up money to re-sign Ryan Fitzpatrick, but reportedly there has been no movement whatsoever between the quarterback and the team since Ferguson announced his retirement. Today, Woody Johnson was asked why the negotiations have taken so long. You want to have everything as much resolved as you can as quickly as possible. You know, I mean, that's, but not everything works out on the time schedule which you'd like. I mean, some things just take a little bit longer, and that's part of the deal. And so we're here. We are. I don't think it's disconcerting or concerning. You know, it's just it's just part of the part of the negotiating process. You know, this is a big uh, big team. I mean, we like we've made our statements regarding. Ryan Fitzpatrick, well known, and I'll stick with those.